everyone, TPS Miner here. Welcome back to the TPS Miner channel. In today's video, we're going to continue testing the Sapphire Nitro RX 470 4 gigabyte mining graphics card that we picked up from Nerd Gears a few weeks ago. So let's just recap. We did pick this up for $175. It has been mining Ethereum Classic since we bought it. Uh, it's been doing a great job on Ethereum Classic. I'm very happy with the performance. But we do want to look at some other options and see what else this can do on some other algorithms. So today we're going to focus our attention on Ergo. So Ergo is a project that I am interested in, but full disclosure, I am not currently mining Ergo on any of my cards. Uh, this video is not financial advice. This is not a recommendation on what coin you should be mining. Um, I just want to demonstrate what this 470 mining graphics card can do on Ergo. So let's hop over to CoinMarketCap and let's just take a look at Ergo. Today's price of Ergo is $3.18, down 3% on the day. And let's hop over to HiveOS and let's just take a look. So you can see here, GPU number two is our RX 470, four gigabyte Sapphire graphics card. And right now it's showing 60.4 mega hash, but uh, we're gonna get back to this. I'm gonna let this update. And while we're waiting, let's scroll up and take a look at what we've got here. So we are using LOL Miner version 1.46a. Uh, we are using the Yoroi wallet and we are using the Nanopool mining pool. So again, we see another significant drop here in the hash rate, but I'm gonna open up um, the actual miner window here. Let's take a look and see what we're seeing. So right here is the important thing that I wanna point out uh, we are building Ergo data set for height uh, 703345, and it takes 2.6 seconds to build this data set. Well, while that data set is being built, the card is not mining. And so what you're seeing is an update uh, to the Hive OS indicating a lower hash rate. But that is just the way Ergo mining works. So when we're not building the data set, we are jumping back up to 63.75 mega hash, but this data set has to be built periodically uh, a few times per minute while mining. So you're gonna see these fluctuations. Now, other mining software may not show this reduction in hash rate, but LOL Miner is giving you an actual pure hash rate reading. So when you are in Hive OS, you're gonna see these fluctuations. But, uh, you know, for the purposes of calculating profitability, we're going to use the 63.75 mega hash number because that is the hash rate we're getting when we are mining. You'll also see some slight pop, uh, power fluctuations when those data sets are being built. But again, for the purposes of the profitability calculations, we are going to assume that we are mining at 90 watts. Okay, so let's take a look at the overclock settings on, uh, on this card. So we're able to get the core clock up to 1200. The core voltage we're able to get down to 980. We may be able to push this a little bit lower, but we're not saving much power by driving this down any lower. And the card does get a bit unstable as we approach that 950 millivolt range. Our memory clock, we're up to 1800. We can push this higher uh, I was able to push this upwards of 1900, closer to 2000, but I didn't see any real um, improvement in hash rate. So I backed it down to 1800. When I do drop below 1800, I start to see a reduction in the hash rate. So 1800 seems to be a good sweet spot for this. And I'm running the fans at 90%. So let's jump back here. So again, you see we're at the 63.75 mega hash, 70 watts in software. And again, our overclock settings. So let's jump over to what to mine and let's take a look and see what we're getting. So I put in the Ethereum Classic numbers that we're running. Right now we're at 31.02 mega hash at, I'm estimating about 85 watts uh, at the wall, although it has not been measured. And for Ergo, we're at 63.75 mega hash and 90 watts uh, is the number we're using. So let's calculate these and see what we're getting. So you can see Ethereum Classic is still the most profitable. We're at 74 cents uh, per day revenue. 
51 cents per day in profit after electricity. And our electricity rate were set at 11 cents per kilowatt hour, which is my electricity rate. And just below that is Ergo. So Ergo is at 69 cents revenue per day and 46 cents per day after electricity. So it would seem that Ethereum Classic would be uh, a more profitable approach. However, uh, if you saw my last video or one of my recent videos, I talked about the Ethereum Classic uh, fifthening that will be coming up. And basically what that is, is a reduction of the block reward for Ethereum Classic. They'll be reducing the block reward by 20%. So if we reduce the revenue or the profit by 20%, we can look at, so let's just assume 51 cents and that fifth inning or the block reward reduction is scheduled to occur on April 24th of this year. So let's say we're only going to be getting 80% of that uh, profit. Our profitability is going to drop down to 41 cents. So ergo now becomes more profitable by five cents per day after electricity after the fifth inning occurs on Ethereum Classic. So something to keep in mind, um, but generally speaking, I'm, I'm pretty impressed with what this card can do on Ergo, uh, specifically uh, when we compare it to Ethereum Classic. So I do want to test this on Raven, but uh, I'm gonna jump back to the thermals here. So you can see right now on Ergo, we're running at about 55 degrees C. And my expectation is when we run on Ravencoin that the temperatures are gonna be higher and getting to the point where it's uncomfortably higher. So if you saw the video I put out recently where I repadded and repasted this uh, RX 470, you might recall that I used these Arctic thermal pads. So this Arctic thermal pad has a thermal conductivity number of six watts per meter Kelvin. And I've been waiting for GPU risers to put out their uh, thermal pad, their 1.5 millimeter thermal pads, and they just released them a few days ago. So I do have an order in for the 1.5 millimeter uh, pads. And if you look at the thermal conductivity on these, these are 20 watts per meter Kelvin compared to the Arctic, which is only six. So I, uh, I have some pretty high expectations that these GPU risers thermal pads will improve the thermal performance of the card. Um, you know, GPU risers does not sponsor the channel. They did not ask me to talk about this but uh, I think that this is something that's worth talking about right now because I think the number, the cost is a bit sticker shock when you first look at it. And I wanna, wanna highlight that this thermal pad cost me $9 and it is a 50 by 50 millimeter thermal pad. Whereas the GPRisers.com thermal pad is a 100 millimeter by 100 millimeter square with a much better thermal conductivity. At $30, uh, this is actually a better deal than what this was. So I picked these up for $9 uh, at Micro Center. And essentially with the 100 millimeter by 100 millimeter thermal pad, you're gonna be getting the equivalent of four of these for $30. And you can bring this down even further if you use one of the discount codes that you can find in some of the um, some of the mining YouTuber channels. So I used the Misfit Mining discount code. I got 10% off and it brought this down to $27. So again, in my opinion, you get uh, more bang for your buck and you're getting a better, much higher thermal conductivity on the GPRisers.com thermal pad. So again, not sponsored by GPU risers. They didn't ask me to talk about this, but I did want to point this out. And once I get these pads in, I'm gonna repad again that RX 470 before I switch over and do any testing on Ravencoin. So stay tuned for that. Uh, that will be coming up shortly. Once I do get those pads, I will do another video and show you the before and after thermal performance of this card. 
and we'll follow that up with a test on Ravencoin. All right. Well, if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. Please consider subscribing to the channel. Uh, hit the notification bell to be notified of future content as it's released. Uh, thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I really do appreciate it. Hope you have a great rest of your day, and I look forward to seeing you again real soon.